Sincere Naquari. All right, what it is, right, what family? It is, family. See, take some of this reverb off of here. Uh, test one. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you guys how to automate um, effects on an audio track. Um, this beat is called Juna, and I'm currently in the mix down process so um, I want a little effect on the beginning of the sample so just the last um, four bars of it I want the effect to come in so what you want to do or what I I did here is many ways to do this but this on this particular track this is what I did so um, my sample starts here regularly and but the effect I wanted to come on the last four so I split the audio made another audio track right here where it says audio 2 um, 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 let me take that take off, that off. <laughs> my effect my is effect working, is working. So, um, first, I guess, first, after you figure out what effect you want, uh, you add your effects to get it up here in the, um, or your, your mixing console, your master mixing console, you go to your rack, right, under your mastering section, um, don't add it in the uh, master mix. Oh boy, somebody will be trying to call me right now, right? <laughs> Excuse me. So don't add it, in, add it in your master mix, but you want to add it. Um, I don't know what you call the section, but it's a section right under your master mix. Usually there's a reverb and echo automatically pops up. And you want to add an instrument. So just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to pick something. Uh, let me put soft bass in here. And you'll just, you know, add it here. Soft bass amp. And if you come over here. And look in your your uh, mixing board number six. Um, hopefully, you can see that it's added as bass amp, right? So that's channel six. So what you want to do, uh, going back to our sequence screen, is where you want the effect to be added. You come up to this little zigzag icon up here to the top click it you see download and you see this thing that says sends so whatever um, channel on that effects mixer you want you want to come here and click for me is number four so I'm gonna click the number four button and you have right here on the audio channel the FX4 send on and off. So I get my pencil tool and I come where I want the effects, where I'm going to play with the effects. I'm going to draw uh, draw the measure in. Hold on. It, it didn't do me the whole thing. I only drew a little, little piece of it. But you can come out, click, and be able to stretch it out, right? So I'm not going to do the whole, let's see, the whole, well, I want to stretch it out a little bit longer because I want that 
affects the light bleed over past the four bars. Once you do that, just double click where you want it. I try to blow up the area a little bit more. And I want that effect to come in right about here. I'll let y'all listen to it a little bit, what I'm, what I'm gonna do. This is, uh, the sample is uh, I'm from Raf Sadiq. Hold on, it's already on. I don't want it on. That's another issue. Sometimes um, I'm gonna exit out and start over, right? Because when you create it, it's going to be on. If it's on when you create it, when you create your automation, it's going to be automatically on. If it's off when you create your Automation is going to automatically be off. So I turned everything off. Now I'm going to redo it again. So this gives you another look how how, how you do it. So I want it on send for create it. Come back here. Um, I'm going to create my tool. Right. I want it to bleed over. Click. I double click the area. <laughs> So I want that June, right? I want that June to be affected. So I'm going to hit right here. And when I bring this, sometimes I'll do another click because I want it to come on right there, but I don't want it to come on before that. So I'm going to click another dot just to keep it in place from where I want it to come on. Oh, wait a minute. My bad, that's the sin level. <laughs> so if you want the levels to automation, that's, that's that. So let me exit out again. Sorry about that, guys. But this is a good tutorial to see all the different ways. Um, I want the on and off for number four. So you go here pre-fader and now you see here on and off okay so I want that one wait a minute not the pre-fader I want the send on and off there we go send on and off then I come back down and now that I see really it's two of the last measures that I want within that. Alright, so I double click up and let's open it up here. Another way to fix this, man, is just <laughs> pull that down and it's off, right? That's what I want. I want it on June, okay? That's how you do it. Um, <laughs> the, the, long, the long way.
So you know what? I think I'm gonna add. I want to add. Um, I need some uh, reverb in there, like an extra, like a long haul reverb. So I'm gonna come over here, pull one of my reverbs over here. I'm gonna keep that bass amp. I might be able to use that somewhere else. That I'm kind of thinking on the sample. And I'm gonna look for a long reverb. Let's go with Cooper Hall. Let's go with Bright. Alright, we're gonna come down. Cooper Hall is on number seven on effects. So I'm gonna come down, find number seven. And I just wanna on and off effects. So I'm gonna do on and off. Alright, come right here, get my pencil tool. And draw another line. All right. Um, come out of it. Line it up. Double click. Um, since it's off already, because it's down at the bottom, I'm going to double click here. And. another one so I can get my line up right and let's see what happens yeah. that's a little better so that's kind of how you do your automation family if you have any additional questions just leave me a comment Subscribe, like, hit like, check me out at sincereinquiry.com. Hopefully this uh, helped you out a little bit on how you can get creative on, on your automation. All right, peace.